a very blessed morning to you in Jesus' name. I'm so happy to share the devotion with you. And I trust that this particular study, little by little, is blessing you, edifying you, and most importantly, positioning you for that which God has promised you. The book of Exodus chapter 23, and I'm reading verse 29 to verse number 30. The Bible says, I will not drive them out from before you in one year, lest the land become desolate and the beasts of the field become too numerous for you. Little by little, I will drive them out from before you until you have increased and you inherit the land. We understood that God bringing us into the big picture, the big vision, the big promise that he has already spoken, it will take a number of things. It's a process. So number one, there will be divine help, supernatural help, divine assistance. Number two, God is going to cause us to know the strategic battles we need to fight. And number three, which you're focusing on today is sustained growth. Sustained growth. Notice the words of God. He says, I will not drive them out from before you in one year, lest the land become desolate and the beasts of the field become too numerous for you. God is telling the children of Israel, this land of promise, you're not just going to get it in one year. It's not just going to be a quick microwave process. No. God is saying to us, friends, you're not going to become big overnight. You're not just going to take over everything overnight. Because if it happens that way, then you will lack the capacity to control what you have achieved. Sometimes when success comes in too quickly, we run the risk of missing the capacity to help us to handle what we have achieved. And there's so many times when God has spoken to us about a big vision, a big dream, a grand idea, we want to rush in for it. We want to get it. We want to have it. But guess what? God says, I want to do it, but I will do it little by little. Because I don't want you to get to the place whereby the land becomes desolate and the beasts of the field become too numerous for you. So there is a capacity that is required. There is a sustained growth that is needed because where God is taking you, it's bigger than you. It's bigger than your experiences. It's bigger than what you have known before. And for you to effectively occupy that space, there is of necessity growth that must happen. And he says to the children of Israel, you know, I can do it. I can remove all these Hittites, Canaanites, Hevites. I can remove all of them in a split second. I can do it immediately. But he says, even if you take a whole one year, I'm just going to be removing them little by little. Then he says this, I will drive them out from before you little by little until you have increased. So the principle of sustained growth is so critical in the achievement of your place of promise. The principle of sustained growth is so critical in your achievement of the place God has prophesied for you. The principle of sustained growth is so critical for you to see the realization and tangibility of your inheritance in God. So the question now is, how do we get sustained growth? How do we get it? Here's number one. We must exercise self-control, patience, and staying power. We must exercise self-control, patience, and staying power. You see, growth that you cannot handle is dangerous. It is negative. It is not sustainable. I'll say that again. Growth that you cannot handle is dangerous. It is negative and not sustainable. That is why we must exercise 
self-control, patience, and staying power. You see, in as much as we are eager to grow, we should not make room for compromise. The growth that we experience must be real, not only in quantity, but also in quality, so that we don't run the risk of just growing and having a lot of room for compromise. And this equally applies in every aspect of our lives, not just spiritual things, but also in our world of business, in our profession, in our career, in our ministries. The second way that we can achieve sustained growth is this. We must grow progressively in understanding, skill, and strength. We must grow progressively in understanding, in skill, and in strength. Remember God said, little by little, I will drive them out from before you until you have increased. The land is not increasing, but the inhabitants have got to grow. The land size remains the same. But you see, you've got to grow because it's not just the land you're walking into, it is the systems and structures on that land that of necessity demand that you must be a man or a woman of capacity. Because if you increase in your understanding, in your skill, and in your strength, then you can occupy not just the space of the land, but the systems and structures that determine life on that place of inheritance. Every space we conquer, we've got to know it has its enemies. Whatever space we want to conquer, we must know it has its enemies. So how do we take off these enemies? It's in the growth of our capacity. See, when your understanding has grown, when your skill has grown, when your strength has grown, then you can be able to outwit your enemy. You can be able to outsmart them. You can be able to defeat them. If we don't have capacity to deal with the enemies of our success, and then we create the success that has enemies we can't deal with, then our enemies multiply and they take us out. We've got to be people growing in understanding, in skill, and in strength. And sometimes this means you don't have to overexpose yourself. Remember Jesus had enemies against him. Herod wanted to kill him when he was still a little baby. It took divine intervention. An angel came to Joseph, told him, hey, get this child and the mother out into Egypt. Bible says they went to Egypt. And after a given period, the same angel returned and said, you know what? The people that wanted to take the life of the baby, they have all died. Now you can return. See, at that particular moment, Herod would have destroyed the plan of God. Joseph didn't have all the connections to help him to stop the king of the land from destroying the little baby Jesus. But it took divine intervention. And after a season, the same Jesus returns now, growing as a little boy and able to handle that space because time had passed and there had been growth and even the enemy now was no longer in the picture. And sometimes that wisdom is necessary for us in the pursuit of the big vision, in pursuit of the grand idea, in the pursuit of what God has promised us, in the pursuit of our land of inheritance. It is little by little. It is little by little. I won't drive them out in one year, lest the land become desolate and the beasts too numerous for you. But little by little, I'll drive them out until you have increased. So here is the key. For you to attain the place of promise, the place of inheritance, you've got to increase your capacity. There must be sustained growth. There must be capacity building. There must be skill development. There's got to be strength building. There's got to be development and improvement because little by little is determined by the speed at which you increase in your capacity. And I pray today that God would help you and help me as well to increase in our capacity, to increase in our understanding, in our skill, in our strength. We need it and is faithful 
to do it for us. He's faithful to help us. He's faithful to enable us. Listen to those words once again. Exodus 23, 29, I will not drive them out from before you in one year, lest the land become desolate and the beasts of the field become too numerous for you. Something I want you to see before we pray. The land in and of itself should not be left desolate. And the beasts of the field have got to be maintained at a certain number, lest they become too numerous or they become too little. Because remember, the beasts of the field as well feed on the grass on the field. So there must be that balance. And it takes a man of capacity, a woman of capacity, a woman that has developed, a man that has developed through a process, sustained growth that can occupy that space. And that is why sometimes you see God has told you, you're going to be a director of your own company, but it's taking way too long. No, it's preparation of capacity. God has told you, there are things I'm going to do in your life, even in ministry, and you're wondering, how will these things be? It's development of capacity. Haven't you realized anything God is preparing? He prepares it in secret. He prepares it from within. Haven't you realized? I mean, look at a baby. A baby grows in secret. A baby is developed in secret. And you may be wondering, by now, the name of my shop, the name of my business, the name of the services I offer, the name of the goods I sell, they should be known. There is a reason why it's not known. God is still developing it in secret. God is still preparing it in that dark space. God has preserved it for a season. And when the capacity has been built, then now it will be presented. Now it will be brought forth. Now it will be ready. Now it's going to be amazing. Now it's going to be so great that when people look at it, they say that can only be God. That success can only be God. That business breakthrough can only be God. That international opportunity can only be God. That international network can only be God because he has been preparing in secret. He has been building capacity. And now when you come to that place of promise, that place of inheritance, you have everything it takes to occupy the space and the systems and structures upon that space. Let us pray together. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for truth in your word, insight and revelation. You say to the children of Israel, you won't drive out the inhabitants of the land in one year, lest the land becomes desolate and the beasts too numerous for them. But when they have increased, they will see the enemies being removed. We pray today, help us to exercise self-control, patience. Help us to increase in understanding, in skill and in strength. We pray that you help us to increase in capacity. For my brother, my sister, that considers another cause to enlarge capacity, give them grace. For my brother or sister that considers sitting for a while, learning, engaging with people already ahead of them because of the place of promise that you've shown to them, I pray that you help them. I pray that you guide them. I pray that your grace will be so sufficient because we know you are doing it little by little. Bless our day today. Be together with us. Give us victories. Give us testimonies. Give us a new song to sing. Be glorified in our lives. For we pray this in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. What a blessing. I know God's giving you grace. God is giving you wisdom. God is giving you his spirit. And you are increasing and you are possessing your place of inheritance, your place of promise, your place of prophecy, little by little. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow as we come to the conclusion of this short study, little by little. Have a blessed day.